G'day guys, this week in the workshop, we've got this awesome Jayco Optimum with a massive power system and an absolutely incredible amount of solar. The specs on this system are absolutely crazy. We have a 24 volt, 600 amp hour lithium battery bank. That's equal to 12 volt, 1,200 amp hour. We have 2,050 watts of solar and we have a 5,000 VA inverter. Let me show you what it's all about. All right, down here we have the heart of the power system. So we have two Sherby 24 volt, 300 amp hour lithium batteries. Absolutely massive. That's equal to 12 volt, 1,200 amp hour of lithium. We've actually fabricated up a base plate for it to hold all the weight, uh, that wasn't in there prior. Then what we've got is we have three DC to DC chargers, we have a DC to DC converter, three Victron MPPTs, and the idea of all that equipment, especially the DC to DCs, is being that it's a 24 volt battery, what we've done is we've put two 12 volt to 24 volt DC to DC chargers in to charge it while the vehicle's driving. Then we've relocated the high current 12 volt loads to the starter battery. So things like the jacks, things like the, the generator cranking, that all now runs on the starter batteries. And to make sure we don't go flattening those, we've actually installed a 24 volt to 12 volt DC DC charger to keep the starter batteries topped up off the house bank. We've then hooked up an assortment of relays and ignition triggers to make sure that we're only ever running the appropriate DC DC uh, chargers at the right time. Then we have a 24 volt to 12 volt 70 amp DC DC converter that supplies the 12 volt loads all the time. So things like the lighting, the fridge, the slide outs, that sort of stuff. They just run full time off the house bank through that converter. Then we have the three solar controllers, which actually drive the massive 2000 watt solar array. That's right, 2000 watts. Let's go check that out now. Now that's a heck of a solar array on a motorhome. We've got seven Sherby 200 watt solar panels, and then we have five Sherby 130 watt solar panels. Three of those are standard, and then two of them are our narrow version. All in all, gets us 2050 watts of solar up here. Heck of a lot of charge, and we still had room to fit a Starlink Mini up the back corner as well. Now there's a lot of thought that goes into a super large solar array like this. Obviously it's 2050 watts. So being that it's a 24 volt lithium battery, we've had to do combinations of series and parallel to make sure that our voltage is high enough to actually charge that bank. We had to rip off the two factory solar panels, the existing satellite dish, the TV antenna, and the RV Wi-Fi unit. And then as you can tell, if we didn't have our unique different size panels, it wouldn't have been possible in the first place. The boys have done a great job, tied it up to three Victron solar controllers to make sure the different arrays don't interfere with each other. All in all, I can't see this customer wanting for power. Now that we've checked out the battery and the solar, let's go take a look at the control interface. Finally, to tie it all together, we have the Victron Serbo GX paired with their Touch 70 display screen. We obviously love using this unit in caravans and motorhomes because it lets us put the brain down below where the system is and we can actually put the touch screen up high where obviously the customer can use it easily. We're using their latest UI and obviously we've put our Starlink control switch right next to it. That lets the customer turn their Starlink on and off as they need to, but it still allows them to have the inverter off so they're not wasting power. So we've run it directly on DC to achieve that of course. The new UI is fantastic. You can see your solar input, your DC loads, all that sort of stuff in a nice, clear, intuitive interface. And we can actually click on the solar section in the overview here, and it can actually break down what each of our different arrays are doing. Really handy if you suspect anything's ever going wrong with one of your solar setups, especially when you have as many solar panels on the roof as these customers do. All in all, it's an absolutely massive power system that'll let these customers camp in absolute luxury. If you're after a system very similar to this one, or any other kind of power system for that matter, give us a call at Solar Inside Bundaberg.